A common misconception is that the arm or ground path of MCAP cable is not permitted. However, this is not the case. A thorough review of the NEC requirements reveals what is permitted. The NEC does permit the armor of MCAP cable to serve as a ground path for the cable based on the following. NEC section 33108 covering equipment grounding for MC cable requires that where MC cable is used for equipment grounding, it must comply with 250.118 and 250.122. NEC section 250.118 lists the type of acceptable equipment grounding conductors. Item 10A, covering interlocked armor MC cable, states that the combined metallic sheath and grounding conductors form the ground path for the cable. What's particularly important is the wording where listed and identified for grounding, preceding 10A, which allows UL to list and identify how the particular combination is combined to form the ground path for the cable. The ground path for standard interlocked armor MC is the combination of the interlock armor and the green copper ground. There is no contact between the interlocked armor and the green copper ground throughout the entire cable length. Therefore, the interlocked armor is not suitable for grounding by itself, and a grounding conductor is required to be installed. While the two grounding components are the same for MCAP cable and MC, with MCAP cable, UL has listed and identified the armor of this particular combination for grounding. With MCAP cable, the aluminum grounding bonding conductor and the aluminum armor are combined in such a way that they are in intimate contact with each other throughout the entire cable length. This allows the armor to serve as a ground path for the cable without having to terminate the grounding conductor. The armor ground path of MCAP cable is listed and identified by UL as an acceptable equipment grounding conductor per NEC section 250.118.10a.